So there's three major communication styles. There's passive, aggressive, and assertive. Passive is on this side, where you don't necessarily share all your thoughts and feelings. You might disagree with what somebody's saying, but you keep that to yourself. Passive, you don't put out a lot of information about yourself. Aggressive is the opposite. Everybody needs to know everybody, everything about me all the time. That's what's important. Neither of those extremes are what we want. What we want is assertive, where you're willing to share your thoughts and your feelings, but you're also open to hearing other people's sh thoughts and feelings and integrating that into your world and into your communication. So if we want to move ahead, right, and this is called breaking the bamboo ceiling, so I'm assuming that moving ahead is a key thing for a lot of you. In the United States, we want to be right here, right? We don't want to be aggressive slash ob obnoxious, but to succeed, you have to be almost obnoxious, yeah. right? In this, in this culture, that's the way it is. And it's a struggle for me too. When I moved to California from the Midwest, the Midwest of the United States is much nicer, <laughs> much more genteel, people are more humble, they don't brag about themselves. And I moved here and I was like, holy cow, what is happening with these people? So I had to learn to take this scale and adjust that scale to where I was and to the people around me. So I have for you the cup theory of this scale, of the communication scale. In the United States, we have three sizes of soda at McDonald's. We have small, medium, and large. This is our cup scale. Now, if you come from another culture, say Hong Kong, <laughs> those sizes are smaller. So if that's your scale, and you want to adjust to the US scale, what do you need to do? You need, you need bigger cups, right? You need bigger cups. And that means you need to be bigger and you need to have more confidence than might be comfortable for you. If you're from Japan, it's even worse, right? That large cup fits comfortably in the US medium-sized cup. So you have to adjust your thinking and your scale to where you are right now. So it's about finding the sweet spot. It's about being not too hot, not too cold, but just Right. And in order to get there, I guarantee that you are going to experience discomfort. Because you are going to have to move outside of your comfort zone. And you know what else? Sometimes you're going to screw up. Sometimes you'll make a big mistake and you have to be willing to let that happen and get on with it. So today, we are going to recite this mantra many times. You guys repeat after me. I will fail, I will fail but that's okay, for I will learn and try again. And try again. All right. Keep that in mind because that's key to what we're going to do here today.